Hey guys and welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this really cool kitchen so guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it right guys to make this really cool kitchen you're going to need to find an area of where you want to build your kitchen now the cool thing about this design guys you can make it in any size room that you want to it's totally up to you my room that I'm going to be building in today is 13 blocks wide and 12 blocks long now once you have the area of where you want to build your kitchen guys we need to fill in the floor of our kitchen now I'm going to be using chiseled quartz for my floor today because I think it looks really nice kind of like a kitchen tiled floor and that is the block we're going to be using once you have filled in the floor and you have the area of where you're going to build your kitchen the first thing we need to do is start working on the walls around the kitchen so what I'm going to do is go to the back right here and I'm going to build my first wall and now this wall is going to be six high and it's going to be made out of birch planks so I'm gonna go one two three four five six like that and I'm going to fill this back wall all the way across to the other side Once we have done that guys, we should get something that looks like this. Next, what we need to do is work on the left wall and the right wall. Now for that, what we're going to do is use snow blocks and we're also going to have it six blocks high like this. So build up your six blocks like that and fill in the right side of the wall and the left side of the wall as well. Once we have done that guys, we should get something that looks like this. And as you can see, all of our walls are now complete. So now we can start working on the interior of the kitchen. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this back left hand side corner right here and grab ourselves some brown hardened clay. Then we're gonna place five blocks in this corner right here. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Then we're going to build this up to the ceiling of our room. So in our room is six blocks high. So we're going to build it six blocks high, just like this, and then just fill in this complete area like this what this is going to be right here is a little fireplace for our kitchen just to add that extra nice little bit of detail so once we've done that what we need to do is go to this block right here and knock that out right there and then knock two more blocks above it like this and then the three blocks behind it we're going to punch them out as well then we're going to jump inside right here and knock this block and place a never rack right there then we're going to go behind this piece of never rack and just fill in this area right here so we do not see the outside and then we're going to light this piece of never rack right there so as you can see we have a nice little fireplace then we're going to grab some black stained glass panes and place the stained glass panes in front of the fire like that so we get a nice little fireplace just adding some decoration to our kitchen now we can start working on the actual kitchen units now for our kitchen units we're going to be using snow blocks now what we're going to do is start off in this corner right here next to the brown stained hardened clay and we're going to place two snow blocks all the way across this back wall until we reach the other corner now this is going to be the start of our kitchen unit right here then what we're going to do we're going to grab ourselves some black carpet and we're going to put black carpet on top of all these counters right here so it looks like we have a nice countertop then once we have done that, we are going to turn to the right hand side right here and we're going to continue our counter going around the corner, but we're only going to do it for about four blocks. So we're going to do one, two, three, four like that. And we're also going to continue the black carpet. So we get a kind of like a nice L shaped kitchen right there. Then what we're going to do is grab ourselves a cobblestone wall and we're going to place it two blocks away from this edge of this counter right here so we're going to place a cobblestone wall right there then we're going to get a piece of string and we're going to place string in all of these gaps right here so we're going to place three pieces of string like that then we're going to get our black carpet and place it on top of these three pieces of string and the cobblestone wall so it looks like we've got a little kind of breakfast bar over here where you can sit down and eat your food or something like that so as you can see we have a nice start to our counter right here Next, what we're going to do is do the cupboards above the counter. Now for that, what we're going to do is grab ourselves some quartz blocks, some quartz slabs, and some quartz stairs as well. Now for this area, what we're going to do, we're going to start one block in from the edge. So we're gonna leave this block empty. Then we're gonna put two quartz blocks like this. Then we're gonna build it all the way across to the other side like that until we reach the corner of that wall. And then we're gonna go back to this level underneath here. We're gonna leave a two 
two block gap then we're going to place another block and go all the way across once again and as you can see we have some cupboards up here as well then we're going to get some iron trapdoors and place it at the bottom so it looks like we've got a nice little shelf there and then in the middle right here what we're going to do is next to this shelf that we just put in we're going to miss two blocks right here and just knock out these four blocks right here because this is going to be where we put our oven now we're going to put the oven in now and it's very very simple guys we're going to grab ourselves a furnace we're going to grab ourselves some black stained glass panes and some polished andesite now we're going to put our polished andesite in that gap that we just dug out and we're going to make it go all the way up to the ceiling so it looks like a fan that comes out of an oven then we're going to knock out these parts right here these four blocks so we can put our oven right there then we're going to put two furnaces at the back and then we're going to put two black glass stained panes in front of these two furnaces like this then grab yourself some iron pressure plates and put them on the back furnaces right there then we're going to put our string on top of these two pieces of glass then we're going to grab ourselves some light gray carpet and we're going to place that on top of the string like this so it looks like we have a nice fan for our oven and I think that looks really really good so as you can see guys the kitchen is starting to come together we've got our, our units around the side we've got our cupboards on top as well now for this side over here we're going to have an, a cupboard on this side as well but we're going to raise it up just a little bit so what we're going to do is grab Grab our blocks of quartz and place one there and place one there and there so it kind of comes out and up just a little bit then we're going to grab ourselves some quartz stairs and we're going to place a quartz stairs facing this way and one above it facing upside down that way as well then we're going to put a quartz stair facing like that and upside down like that and we're going to go across two more blocks so one there and one there and then on this final one right here what we're going to do is turn this way and place it there and place an upside down one turn as well so we get this kind of nice shelf unit right there so as you can see guys we've got a really cool looking kitchen right now where we've got the counters at the bottom and the cupboards at the top so next what we're going to do guys we're going to put an island in the middle of our kitchen right here because this area looks a bit plain so over on this side of our kitchen what we're going to do next to this brown stain hardened clay we're going to place down two snow blocks like this then we're going to place seven more going in this direction so we have a nice little island in the middle of our kitchen so we're going to do one two three four five six seven then we're going to do the same on this side as well so we have a two wide counter in the middle of our kitchen make sure there is a free block gap between this counter and between this counter right here once we have done that we are then going to place our black carpet on top of it so it matches the rest of the counters that we have in our kitchen so we should get something that looks like this next what we're going to do is grab yourself some quartz slabs and go over to the left side right here and then one block above this counter on this block right here place an upside down quartz slabs like that then we're going to make this the same length as the counter that we placed down before so make it all the way going across to the other end so that is eight blocks long like that then what we're going to do is grab our cobblestone wall and place a cobblestone wall on this block right here missing the block right there and make sure these cobblestone walls go all the way up to your ceiling in your kitchen once you've done the first one we're going to miss three blocks here then we're going to place our second one and we're going to make it go all the way up to our ceiling right there so we get a little hanging shelf above this island right here so now what we're going to do guys we're going to grab ourselves some quartz stairs and we're going to add some seats on the other side of this island so I'm going to face in this direction right here and I'm going to miss a block right here and place a seat there then I'm going to miss a block place another seat miss a block and place another seat there so as you can see there is a gap between the island and the seats and we're placing three seats down for our kitchen now what we're going to do is add a rug around this area to make the floor look a little bit better so you can add any style rug in your kitchen it's totally up to you what style you do it the rug I'm going to be doing today is going to be gray black and white so I'm going to start from this corner right here and I'm going to place down five pieces of gray wall so that's number one two Two, three four five like that then I'm going to turn in this direction and I'm going to place one more there then I'm going to fill this area up right here then I'm going to get my black carpet and I'm going to go all the way across until I get to the other side of this chair right here and then I'm going to fill that up right there so I'm going to fill all this space up with black carpet so I get a nice 
rug design in my kitchen. Now finally I'm going to add a tiny bit of detail behind these chairs right here and I'm going to add three pieces of white carpet right here like that just so it adds a nice mixture to my rug and as you can see we have a nice rug design. Now the cool thing about carpet guys is that you can place another piece of carpet on top of it and it floats above like that. So what we're going to do we're going to make our counter look a lot better and we're going to add some carpet above our carpet so it looks like our counter has a hanging piece over it so the chairs can kind of slide underneath. Now on this part over here where we can't place two bits of carpet what we need to do is grab ourselves a piece of string, place a piece of string in this corner right here and then just place a piece of carpet on top of that piece of string so it all connects together. So as you can see guys we've got a nice counter with a hanging shelf, we've got some seats underneath the counter and we have all our kitchen around here and it's really starting to take shape. So finally what we need to do in the kitchen guys is just add some final pieces of detail. So over here what we're going to do is add a sink underneath this shelf. So I'm going to knock out these two blocks right here. Then I'm going to grab myself some snow layers and then we're going to place five snow layers at the bottom of each one of these blocks. So one, two, three, four, five one two three four five then grab myself some trip wire hooks and place two trip wire hooks on this back wall right here so it looks like we have two taps inside of our kitchen for our sink then on this side over here i'm just going to put a nice little plant just to add some decoration so i'm going to grab a sea lantern and i'm also going to grab some black stained glass panes as well and i'm going to put a sea lantern in the ground i'm going to put a black stained glass pane on top of it and then I'm going to grab myself some leaves and I'm going to put two leaves on top of it as well just so it looks like we have a nice plant there and then on this side over here I'm going to build a fridge for the kitchen so for the fridge what we're going to do is grab our block of quartz and we're going to place two blocks two blocks of quartz right here like that then we're going to place an upside down stair then we're going to place another block of quartz right there two more above it like that then grab your half slabs and then place two half slabs on top so we have a nice fridge design as well so as you can see guys we have a really cool looking kitchen and if you want to add some final detail you can grab yourself some buttons and place some buttons around so it looks like we've got some buttons or handles on our cupboards like this and it starts to look really really nice now I know some of you guys may be asking what it looked like with the roof complete and the front wall complete so as you can see I've just added it in we used birch woods for the ceiling and some snow blocks for the front wall right here and I've also added in some extra detail with a coffee machine right here that you can also add into your kitchen if you want to see a tutorial on this coffee machine guys I do have it on my channel so go check that out but there we go guys a really nice and simple kitchen that you can use in any of your minecraft houses but guys if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you want to see more just like it and you never want to miss an upload from me all you need to do is click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I upload a brand new tutorial but guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in another how to tutorial